Hi everyone, it's Melina here. Um, I asked a question in my Facebook group, Mina's Creative Corner, what uh, people are struggling the most with when creating. And I got a few answers and I think they are quite common. Um, some uh, said, just start is the most difficult thing. Another um, was uh, very self-conscious and um, felt a lot, lot of pressure. Um, another one had problems with the background um, and another one didn't have problems with the background but had problems to choose the focal point and was afraid to cover the background and I thought many of these things I think come from uh, overthinking um, and that we think about the outcome more than we think about um, the process of making the project or journal spread. Uh, so I thought I wanted to make a little uh, exercise in my Facebook group. I will be posting this uh, video um, and uh, of course as an exercise for the ones in my group but of course anyone who wants to join or just do what I do can do so I'm not the first making an exercise when we have to have a, a, a time limit but it's the first time for me and I thought if it's a good exercise for me then it could be for someone else if you um, do this on time I thought this time we could um, use 10 minutes um, first I thought why not just make it three minutes it's uh, it's uh, not enough time to overthink anything then but um, we start with 10 minutes, maybe next time 5 minutes and the last time maybe 3 minutes and um, it should be fun, just try. Um, I have my journal. Um, I work quite randomly in this journal um, and a lot of times I just pick up leftover paint from my craft sheet um, I don't like to waste anything um, so a good way to not have to start on the spread is actually have something going on already that you could um, just be inspired by the colors or the patterns or or um, well just anything uh, I really like this colors as you can see this journal isn't white it's a more cropped um, colored paper in here it's the mixed media paper um, and I have just taken out some matte medium gesso some um, fluid acrylic paints that I think uh, will work with with the colors that I have going on um, I uh, have taken just some uh, old book paper, some uh, of my masks, a background stamp, some washi tape, just some ink pads. And I already decided uh, my focal point. It's going towards or it is autumn now in Sweden and um, I think 
you as well as me have a lot of already stamped and cut out pieces lying around on your desk that didn't got used in another project and I thought why not just use this leaf I uh, have had some crackle ones that crackle uh, on there just to see how that would work on paper um, but I think I will make a background and then just use this as my focal point so I will set my timer and um, I will speed up the process maybe double speed or something um, so um, well just get intuitive and uh, don't think on the outcome and uh, just start to play
well no drying time uh, but um, I got some kind of a background and I think that my uh, leaf will uh, sit quite nice on top of here maybe with that circle just on the side of it uh, I will dry it off and um, just uh, make my journaling and uh, this little exercise is done. Mm -hmm.